Surgery for Heartburn and Acid Reflux, the latest research. This video will describe some of the recent scientific research that supports the effectiveness of surgery for heartburn, acid reflux, and gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. In GERD, stomach acid flows back into the esophagus, the tube that connects the mouth to the stomach, causing symptoms of heartburn and difficulty swallowing. The surgical treatment for GERD is a procedure called fund application, which strengthens the muscle at the top of the stomach, called the lower esophageal sphincter or LES, to prevent stomach acid from flowing back into the esophagus. Traditional medical treatment for GERD is with proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, medications which reduce the production of stomach acid. Let's discuss the latest scientific research in a simple and understandable way. The first study is from 2016 in the journal Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. This research study compared the effectiveness of fund application versus medication, PPI, in patients with chronic GERD over 5 years. Patients in the medication group started with a low dose and if their symptoms were not controlled, the dose was gradually increased until symptoms were controlled or the medication no longer worked. The study found that, although both medicine and surgery improved GERD, surgery was more effective at reducing acid reflux levels than the medication PPI. At six months after fund application, surgical patients had less time with acid in the esophagus than PPI patients. At five years after surgery, surgery patients again had less time with acid in the esophagus than PPI patients. Almost 90% of surgical patients had normal acid in the esophagus compared to patients only getting medication. At five years, surgical patients reports much less heartburn and acid reflux than patients only receiving medication. The next study is from 2017 published in the World Journal of Surgery. This is a study of fund application surgery that was performed for GERD on patients in the early 1980s, looking at outcomes of surgery and long-term follow-up after almost 30 years. The study collected data before and after the surgery, and also followed up with the patients after the surgery to see how they were doing. The study also looked at the patient's quality of life with respect to their health, their satisfaction with the surgery, and if they would still choose surgery over medication if they had the same symptoms again. The researchers found that the majority of the patients reported improvements in their symptoms and quality of life after the surgery. Over the short term, most patients were satisfied with surgery and very few had heartburn or difficulty swallowing. Of the patients that were surveyed 30 years after surgery, very few were still on reflux medication. Over 90% of patients had minimal to no heartburn 30 years after surgery. Additionally, most of the patients were satisfied with the results of the surgery and would still choose surgery over medication if they had the same symptoms again. This study provides the longest follow-up period published after fund application. Another study is from 2019 in the New England Journal of Medicine. This is a study that compares the effectiveness of surgery for refractory heartburn. Refractory heartburn is a type of heartburn that is not controlled by standard medicines. The study was a randomized trial, which is one of the highest levels of scientific medical evidence. All patients were first given a trial of medications for acid reflux. Patients who did not improve with medications were then assigned to get continued medical treatment, placebo, or surgery. As mentioned before, surgical group underwent a procedure called a fund application to prevent acid reflux. The study found that the surgical treatment was much more effective in improving symptoms and quality of life in patients with refractory heartburn than the medical treatments. One of the limitations of the study is that it was unable to determine the long-term effectiveness of the surgical treatments. The next study is from 2021 in the journal Surgical Endoscopy. This is a set of guidelines for the surgical versus medical treatment GERD. The guidelines were developed by a group of experts in this field. The guidelines recommend when patients with GERD should undergo surgery. The guidelines summarize scientific evidence from 15 clinical trials. They found that surgical fund applications should be considered for patients who have not had success with lifestyle changes and medication, have severe symptoms, or have complications from GERD such as Barrett's esophagus, 
a condition in which the cells in the lining of the esophagus change and may become cancerous. The positive effects of surgery included a decrease in the amount of time with acid in the esophagus, less need for medications, improved quality of life, and better long-term symptom control. Surgery for GERD, like any other operation, had some undesirable effects. These include standard surgical complications and bloating. The guidelines suggest that a minimally invasive approach to fund application surgery with experienced surgeons is the best approach. The final study we will look at is from 2021 from the journal Surgical Endoscopy. The article describes a scientific study, called a meta-analysis, which analyzes effectiveness of surgery for the treatment of gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. The study was conducted by a large group of experts in order to provide a comprehensive overview of the available scientific evidence on the effectiveness of surgery for GERD. The meta-analysis found that surgery was more effective than medical treatment for reducing symptoms of GERD and improving quality of life. It was also found that surgery was associated with a lower rate of acid reflux and a lower rate of complications of acid reflux, such as Barrett's esophagus, a precancerous state related to reflux. As expected, the study also revealed that surgery for reflux was associated with potential complications, as would be true for any operation. The decision of whether to have surgery should be made on an individual basis in discussion with the surgeon and take into account the patient's specific condition and preferences, as well as the potential risks and benefits of surgery.